This week we continue to discuss the legendary Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and I'm going to highlight Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men's Chest, film 2006. It was directed by Gore Verbinski and starred Johnny Depp, Orlando Bloom, Kira Knightley. Of course, we've seen these characters before in the Pirates of the Caribbean first installment, Curse of the Black Pearl. This story brings us again into the world of Captain Jack Sparrow, played by Johnny Depp, who is reminded that he owes a debt to Davy Jones, who captains the Flying Dutchman, a ghostly ship with a crew from hell. Facing the locker, Jack must find the heart of Davy Jones, but to save himself, he must get the help of quick-witted Will Turner, Orlando Bloom, and Elizabeth Swan, Kira Knightley. If that's not complicated enough, Will and Elizabeth are sentenced to hang. Unless Will can get Jack's compass from the villainous Lord Cutler Beckett, beautifully played by Tom Hollander. So of course Will is forced to join another crazy adventure with Jack. So let's get to the real stuff, the sword fighting. Okay, it's kind of real looking, but it was heavily choreographed, punctuated with pieces of humour and seemingly death-defying stunts that made the fight a definite must one to talk about. And if you haven't seen it, it's a good one to watch, if not for anything else but the entertainment value. The sequence was known as the Crucius for the Isla Crucia fight, I can't even say that. And if you search for it on YouTube, you can find it there. But before we discuss the fight itself, here are a few things you need to take into account. The gigantic wheel upon which the sword fight between Sparrow Turner and Norrington took place weighed about 1,800 pounds, that's 816 kilograms, and stood about 18 feet high. And Jack Davenport, who played Commodore Norrington, recalls that performing the sword fight is worth kind of like learning an exhausting and slightly dangerous dance, particularly when filming a dueling scene in over 100 degrees heat on a mill wheel with Depp and Bloom in this actual sequence of Dead Men's Chest. He said, I did keep fainting at one point, he said. I think I had the most clothing on. Well, that's for sure. Orlando, of course, doesn't really sweat. He merely glows. We were all struggling a bit at times, though it was intense. Now, as much of a spectacle that this scene is, there are a few errors. Jack Sparrow hit his head on the bar while running inside the wheel, but never hits his head on the bar again. Another thing was that several of the characters also make it to the beach long before the wheel does, despite the fact that it's moving incredibly quickly. Now, the fight is really well set up. The music tells us that we're in for a spectacle, a true pirate duel in an interesting backdrop of an old mill sitting rotting in the Caribbean sun. The setup for the entire fight was not only the disdain the characters had for each other, but the fight was, there was another character in this fight and that was the key to Davy Jones' locker that constantly changed hands or locations and was interwoven into the sword fight uh, for the action to move from one place to another. We talked about the size of the wheel and in several times in the sequence we see the actors fighting on top of it. We see amusing moments of the key changing hands while Norrington and Turner fight through and on top of the building with Jack Sparrow sneaking in the background to snatch it from Norrington while he's distracted by the sword duel in front of him. But then Jack is caught and the action stops for a moment long enough for a fun piece of information between the characters and for Jack to roll off and jump to safety, which then allows the action to continue and for Jack to scurry off thinking he's won. But then the action takes another turn and another caveat is thrown into the mix while Sparrow makes his escape and falls into a grave, unaware that the wheel is now dislodged thanks to the antics happening on top of it and he's now seemingly crushed into the rotten wheel, only to find himself running like a hamster inside of it, trying to stay alive from the sword swinging around him and parts of the wheel about to crush him to death. The entire sequence was voted as the best sword fight in the franchise history, and for good reason. It wasn't that the sword fighting was better or more intense, there were other battles that had more complicated action, yet it had humour action stunts, visual effects, but they were all centered around getting that damn key back. So we followed the key and around it the action played out in a beautifully choreographed dance. 